Official India rolled out its brightest welcome for President Barack Obama, heralding a day of meetings with pop and color in a one-time palace of the British Viceroy. The heat was already rising as mounted troops came to attention, and Obama was greeted by Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. And Obama, the guest, came bearing a huge gift, formal endorsement of India's bid for a permanent seat on the UN Security Council. The United States not only welcomes India as a rising global power, we fervently support it and we have worked to help make it a reality. Of course, America is backing Japan's bid too, and Brazil and Germany want in, so there's lots of haggling ahead. For Obama and Singh, talks were productive, with accords on nuclear security, green energy and disease control. But one tough spot remains, tensions with Pakistan, especially over Kashmir. India and Pakistan have fought three wars over mountainous Kashmir with its divided Muslim and Hindu loyalties. Obama says he's willing to help make peace, but can't dictate it. We are happy to play any role that the parties think is appropriate. Which for India right now is none, since it wants no negotiating till Pakistan curbs terrorism. Once Pakistan moves away from this terror induced coercion, we will be very happy to engage productively with Pakistan to resolve all outstanding issues. On the last of three days in India, Obama and his wife Michelle paid tribute to a peacemaker in a visit to the spot where Mahatma Gandhi was cremated. Out of respect for the father of modern India, they removed their shoes, placed a wreath at the shrine, and scattered flower petals in a Hindu sign of mourning. The White House was especially pleased by the President's Parliament speech, which was carried on nationwide TV here. With an audience reckoned in the hundreds of millions, it may well be on this day Obama was seen live by more people than on any day since he took office. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, New Delhi.